basically, we still typically don't revascularize patients for renal artery stenosis. It's less commonly done than done. And so if you have suspicion for renal artery stenosis as the cause of someone's hypertension, we're only even really testing for it if someone's really truly resistant and even refractory hypertensive. Or if they weren't somebody who fit the trial evidence that were all these negative trials. And so people who really didn't weren't in the trials were people who had much worsening kidney function because they were having ischemia to their kidneys and needed to have an intervention to prevent that or albuminuria because they're hyperfiltering from ischemia to their kidneys. And so those are situations where we would still be referring and evaluating for potential revascularization with a stent. The other one is recurrent pulmonary edema because those are patients where they're getting really severe volume overload as a result of the pathogenesis of what's occurring from the renal artery stenosis, and they actually really can benefit a lot from a stent if they are severely um, stenosed. And so that's when we start doing the workup usually is, is those situations. So substantially acutely worsening kidney function, really, really refractory, can't control their blood pressure, or having, uh, having recurrent pulmonary edema. Those are the situations.